What's up everybody? So a question I've been getting asked a lot and some of the comments I've seen recently about people that would be happy to take a super low paying job just so they can get experience. And I kind of did a little bit of that early on before I landed my first real job just so I can build some stuff and have a little bit of real work on my portfolio and maybe get the feel for a actual code base that wasn't just some project that I followed on a tutorial or something that I built myself. I was basically out there with a will code for food sign, right? I wanted to get a job as soon as I could. I was willing to take pretty much any job that came my way. But looking back now, I feel like I may have had the wrong mindset. At the time, I was ready to start working. I wanted to start making money with code. I wanted to start programming for a living and I was willing to pretty much take anything that came my way. And I got lucky that the job that I actually did land had a decent salary. But I really advise against working for pennies. And I did a lot of this. When I first started out, I was building websites for free for friends and family. And I'll tell you this, build stuff for friends and family before you decide to go and build stuff for strangers for free. Don't go and just offer up your services for free just to get experience. And I'm telling you this because I did this. I was that person that was going on Upwork and basically bidding the lowest that I could because the way I thought was like, all right, if I make 20 bucks on this website, even if it takes me a few days, I made $20 to build a website that I could then put on my portfolio. What I noticed that started happening was that I did get a few little jobs here and there, but I undersold myself so much and the people that did hire me on Upwork to do a couple you know, little fixes on their websites and whatnot, they didn't treat me any better because I sold myself cheaper. They still expected the work to be done. They, still, they were still treating me like someone who they paid $100 for the $20 job that I did. And the truth is that I delivered the same exact product. Now, while I'm saying this, I know that it's not easy to get those first few jobs and to even get a real full-time software developer job can be really hard. So if you're there and you're thinking, well, I'm already working for minimum wage, I'll take a job that'll pay me $15 an hour and I'll do it for a year or two just to get the experience. But what's gonna happen is six months into that job, you're gonna realize that your skills are way more valuable, you're gonna feel underappreciated, you're gonna feel underpaid, and you're gonna feel miserable. Trust me, because even though I made a decent salary at my first job, I still felt this way after a few months because I came to the realization that I was more valuable than what they were paying me. And I did have highly desired skills that a lot of companies are willing to pay for. So it's really hard to sit here now after I have years of experience and just tell you not to do it. So what I want to say is just really, really think about it before you do. Think about what you're committing. Think about how much you're giving up if you start doing free work. And don't get me wrong, I get it. I did it myself. I talk about this in other videos and I just kind of wanted to come back and mention this a little bit more, you need to know your worth and you need to not be so eager to work that you sell yourself so short. Your time is probably better spent by building projects, good projects, projects that require time and effort and that will make your portfolio and your resume stand out. So that way when you do apply for a full-time job, you're not applying for jobs that are gonna pay you 12 or 13 bucks an hour at some WordPress shop. You're applying for real software developer jobs, real front-end engineer jobs, real, real developer jobs, not just some job that's gonna exploit you for your skills because they see someone who's hungry and willing to work for free or pennies. And I get it, if you're doubling your salary now from minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour or whatever it may be, Really, really consider how long you're gonna be at that job and consider how much that's gonna affect you when you realize that you undersold yourself so early and then now you can't really leave the job because you've only been there for a few months and you feel like it's gonna affect your, your experience and it feels like it's gonna affect your resume. And that's a topic for another video about job hopping that I really don't think job hopping is that big of a deal, but many people will tell you that it is. And many times if 
an employer sees that you've been at five different companies in the last couple of years, that's usually like a red flag when they're hiring you. So please just don't work for free. Think about all that time that you can put in on your free time while you're working a regular job or if you're currently unemployed and you really need the work, I, I get it, man. I've, I've been there, I've had to eat, I've scrubbed toilets, I've bust tables, I've washed dishes, I've had very low paying jobs and I've had some decent paying jobs where I made good money in tips and I was able to afford nice things and I have never had a job that pays as much as the one I have now. So I'm sitting up here on my high horse telling you not to work for cheap and not to take the first thing that comes your way, but just know that I've been there. Don't be so eager to get that first job. I know it's hard not to be, but just know that you're worth more than you think you are. You probably know more than you think you do, and you're probably really close to getting a very good paying job, and you might set yourself back a year or two or six months or whatever if you take that really crappy paying job just to get the experience that you think you need for the job that pays well. Hold on, wait a little bit longer, focus that time that you're gonna spend at that job on building yourself up and making yourself marketable for the job that you do want. And whether that be learning algorithms or building projects or contributing to open source or starting your own websites and your own business or your own YouTube channel to show what you can do or your own blog to talk about everything you've learned or whatever it may be, that will bring you more value in the long run than working some job at a WordPress shop or some agency that's gonna pay you like crap. Trust me, take it from somebody who knows what he's talking about. And I usually don't say things like that because I don't like sounding arrogant, but I feel like I have to emphasize this because I don't want people selling themselves short and not being happy with their path into software development. And it's better to hold off and gain real experience in a real software development position, gaining good money that you'll be happy with because your first job, you're probably gonna be there for a while and it's gonna be one of the places where you learn the most about software development and process and all that. And if you get hired at some crappy little shop that's not gonna pay you anything, you're probably gonna have a bad time. Yeah, that's, that's just the truth. All right, with all that said, I hope that somebody listens to this. I hope that it helps someone. And at the end of the day, I get it. You gotta eat, you gotta pay your bills, you gotta do what you gotta do. But just take this advice and think about it before you make that decision if a opportunity like that comes up for you. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you found any value in this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. And let me know if you've had any opportunities like this come up for you, or if you're thinking about taking the first thing that comes your way when you're looking for a job as a software developer or a web developer, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to chat with you guys and see what you have to say about this. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.